but you're not getting this pop-up box. What's going on, guys? So, if you're like any other smart crypto person, you've got a hardware wallet. Many people own several. Okay, but today we're going to talk about Ledger and specifically getting into smart contracts with a Ledger hardware wallet. And the main problem, main focus of this video is, is that you're trying to get in smart contracts and you're not getting the window pop up to sign the contract. So what is the problem? Well, it could be one of many things. So this video assumes you've already set up your Ledger hardware wallet um, and you know, you've know you installed the Ethereum dApp at a minimum in your account manager, okay? So we're there. So the very first thing you need to do to get into smart contracts is you have to enable blind signing in the Ethereum app, okay? blind signing in the Ethereum app. Now, you're going to see things that say, you know, blah, 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 there's risk in it. But here is the ultimate takeaway. You can't get in smart contracts unless this setting is set, specifically with MetaMask and Ledger, okay? So enable blind signing, connect and unlock Ledger, open the Ethereum ETH application, go to settings, Go to the blind signing and then do your double click on both buttons and make sure that you're enabled just as this video shows. Okay, Ethereum, application ready, settings, blind sign not enabled, and that's it. So that is number one, okay? Number two, go over to the Explorer. Um, we're going to use BSC scan today, or it could be Ethereum, or it could be whatever. And you're going to pop your address in here and make sure you have no pending transactions. Okay? That's step two. No pending transactions on chain. Okay? Number three. Because you got trigger happy with your wallet on the activity tab, you may have a pending transaction, but the box to sign the contract never popped up so what you have to do is you have to clear these bad transactions so what is what do i mean by bad transactions these are transactions that never actually got sent to the blockchain they're stuck in the metamask software so you need to remove those transactions so click on the circle settings advanced go to reset account hit reset account. This doesn't actually reset your account. What this does is it clears pending TXs, okay? But you lose your history, so keep that in mind. So now look at my activity, no transactions. So if you have a pending transaction here, it's not gonna work, okay? You have to do the reset. Step four, you need to make sure Ledger Live is enabled in settings. So click on the circle again, settings advanced go scroll down until you see the ledger live box preferred ledger connection and you can choose from any one of these three but if you're using ledger live then you're going to use ledger live okay so we're on ledger live under advanced that's the next step okay this also assumes you have the ledger live software installed which if you set up your ledger you most likely have it installed already okay now the last and final step you go over to your favorite smart contract okay just using elephant as an example and you initiate a contract so we'll go over to stampede so i connect and then i have this i hit this when i say the pop-up box, I'm talking specifically about this pop-up box. That's the pop-up box to sign the contract. You're not getting this pop-up box. So when I hit confirm, Ledger Live should open, and then it asks to open, then you click open bridge, and then you can go on your Ledger and confirm the transaction. 
Now, if you've done all of these steps and it still doesn't work, make sure to go back over here, do another reset on your account, under settings, advanced, reset, okay? And then reboot your PC. After you've rebooted your PC, it comes back up, unlock your ledger, unlock your MetaMask, go to your smart contract, hit the contract, ledger live should open or prompt to open, put in your password, open the bridge, go back to your ledger, confirm the transaction. So this should solve. The nuclear option is the last option where you have to reboot. Things just get out of sync and you don't get the pop-up. So hope you have good luck with setting up your hardware wallet and stay safu out there. This is CryptoSlow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.